Lana Vorza. A prophetic word to those who are burning with an intense fire heralding the message, return to the first love. The Lord spoke to me recently for those who are carrying an intense fire of the message of return to the first love. The Lord showed me that these ones are burning with this message so strongly that it is like fire in their bones that they cannot contain. This fire is coming out in their conversations, in their prayers, in their writing, in their declaration, in their tears. They have been carrying this return to the first love message, but it is now at a point that the intensity is so strong that they cannot contain it. Over the last few months, these ones are feeling a weightiness in their heart in intercession for the church to return to Jesus, to return to the first love. To these ones, I felt the Lord say, There is coming upon you an impartation of my heart to see and decree that which I am speaking. I am about to hand you new keys for what is about to be. There is about to be a mighty shaking, a mighty outpouring of my spirit that is going to move and shake. I am coming to move and shake in my church in a way that has not been seen before, and in this moving and shaking I am restoring the awe to my church, and I will cause you to be positioned and increased in new places, and ways to herald my heart in greater ways of the returning to me. For where you have carried the burden of my heart for my church to return to me, and to return to the place of deep adoration to me, I am going to pour out through you such a move of my spirit that is going to bring forth alignment, cleansing and repentance into the places that I send you that will be unprecedented. I am going to position you to run against the grain, to begin to decree that which I am speaking to encourage, and to instruct, and from that place, you will begin to see my spirit releasing such a move of my spirit upon my people that is going to cause a shock, an awe and a restore. I will send you forth with the message burning stronger in your hearts and spirits that calls forth purity, that calls forth holiness, that calls forth the place of purity in the divine dance with the King of Kings. For many of you, I am causing you to change tables and change positions right now, so you can release the deeper revelation of this message of what it means to return to me as the first love, and the message not be contaminated by man-made, salish ways but will position you to move in new ways with me heralding this message, and seeing my spirit release instruction through you for making room for me, and housing my glory. Burning in the burning furnace of my love. Get ready to burn in the burning furnace of the revelation of my love like you have never before. For I am coming to you in such power, I am coming to you swiftly to release upon you the fire of my love in an intensity that you have never experienced. I am releasing to you an impartation of the fire of my love that is more all-consuming than you have ever experienced, and at times it will feel like you cannot contain it any longer. But I will increase, and extend you to receive more, and more and more of the fire of my presence and my love. A fresh baptism of the fire of my presence and love will be upon you, and you will be marked afresh, and marked anew with Ephesians 3 14-20. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family aid in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us, ESV. So I kneel humbly in or before the Father of our Lord Jesus, the Messiah, the perfect Father of every father and child, aid in heaven and on the earth. And I pray that he would unveil within you the unlimited riches of his glory and favor until supernatural strength floods your innermost being with his divine might and explosive power. Then, by constantly using your faith, the life of Christ will be released deep inside you, and the resting place of his love will become the very source and root of your life. Then you will be empowered to discover what every Holy One experiences, the great magnitude of the astonishing love of Christ in all its dimensions. How deeply intimate and far-reaching is his love! How enduring and inclusive it is! Endless love beyond measurement that transcends our understanding, 
This extravagant love pours into you until you are filled to overflowing with the fullness of God. Never doubt God's mighty power to work in you and accomplish all this. He will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request, your most unbelievable dream, and exceed your wildest imagination. He will outdo them all, for his miraculous power constantly energizes you. TPT You are going to burn in adoration for me like you have never burned for me before. You are going to be undone by my goodness and my love, and the message of my holiness shall burn within you and flow from you in ways that you have never experienced. You will go forth and continue to herald this message of returning to the first love, to me, and as my spirit releases this message through you in such intensity, my rima word, and impartation of the fire of my love and holiness, that I have given unto you will be released with such power it will cut people to the heart. There will be tears of repentance that will be heard louder than has ever been heard, and the impartation you have received will be released unto others through intercession, through decree, through song, through writing, through many ways my spirit moves. Houses burning alight with the fire of God I began to see those that have been mantled with this message, and impartation of fire to be released calling for the church to return to the first love Jesus, having gatherings around tables in their homes with other believers. And as they shared the revelation and burning message of returning, I saw the fire of God falling so strongly in homes. People were being branded afresh with the fire of His presence and love. It was explosive baptisms of fire in homes around tables all across the globe. I then saw these ones moving from their homes into their communities, and the words community transmission and community transformation thundered around me. The impartation and fire that was being released into hearts of burning adoration and pure love for Jesus was so intense in hearts that they were going out into their communities set alight by his fire and love, and the fire was spreading. I kept hearing the word wildfire over and over again. The passionate, burning, fierce fire of his love being spread and caught all through communities bringing in the harvest, calling the prodigals home, and bringing community transformation. I saw mothers in the drop-off and pick-up line at schools sharing with each other about the burning impartation of his fire and love they had received and revival breaking out amongst mothers. I saw it happening in coffee shops, on the streets, in buildings. I watched as the fire of his love spread like wildfire bringing transformation and purification. I am mantling you with fresh fire and revelation that will be released in the dismantling. I am mantling you with fresh fire and revelation that will be released in the dismantling. I am coming in power to dismantle that which has not been built upon me, and in the dismantling, I will send you forth my burning ones with the message of return to first love, and you will speak with boldness, authority, conviction and love and my spirit will move powerfully through you as I use you to bring forth alignment to the church, and bring them deeper, into the place of awakening to the divine romance they are called to live in with me, and the fire of adoration for me will burn in many. Hearts as I re set the foundations. It is a time of divine reset, and I am dismantling wrong established foundations to re set them on the right foundation in me alone. To those that embrace me in the dismantling will find my glory, and to those who refuse to embrace me in the dismantling will not find my glory and favor. I am sending you forth with the burning message of return to the first love and signs and wonders will follow you to accompany that which my spirit is heralding. It's a time of rapid shift, change, and reset. You will go forth my burning ones with my heart of love, boldness, conviction, and heart to see healing, cleansing, and restoration. You are being sent forth my burning ones with this message to release purity and call my people into purity. It's time 